What's up guys, Blaine here aka Thrifty Fishing, um, giving you another tutorial on using the GameIcons.net library for making uh, making your art for your cards in Collective. Um, in this one I'm going to show you how to make like an animal, we're going to do a bug in this one, and um, I'll show you how to get those, those so wanted solid circles. We have a solid square, but if, if you'd like a solid circle and you go to circles, you will probably be disappointed to find out that there is no solid circle and it'll just lead you to sadness but do not fret for today I will show you how to outsmart the game and get yourself a solid circle instead of this hollow one um, so like I said yeah we're gonna do an animal um, I do all of my animal heads very similar if you saw my other video I said I like to use the big egg as my placeholder I also like to use it as a as my head shape because it looks kind of fat, but you can you can flatten it out a little bit, and then I think it makes a pretty awesome shape um, for doing animal heads and stuff. Um, especially like a pig or like an insect makes a great little insect head. Um, and then for the pieces of the body on an insect, it makes great for one of those as well. Um, you can just flip it over this way and uh, shrink it down a little bit, and uh, have yourself a nice little insect body um, and if you give yourself one more of those and make it a little bit bigger then you have really got something going on there let's see there we go now that might be hard to see right now it is a little a little tiny um, and it's also all the same color but you will see we will we will get it there and we will make it we will make it awesome we're gonna do um, an ant um, and the way I get these shapes is I just I just look up you know whatever I'm wanting to do and I look at a couple of draw tutorials and the main shapes that they use and then I try to fit um, what I'm gonna be doing with that so like I said this is just uh, we're gonna do an ant so let's get started um, I'm gonna use the same multiply technique that I used in the last video to go ahead and get us a color um, I associate ants with red I feel like they're actually more of like a copper color but this looks good to me um, and as I said earlier we're gonna use the blur tool a whole lot I like it because you can give it a little bit of an outline on your uh, your shapes here so it gives that just that nice little almost a shadow effect we're gonna do that to all of these um, the body parts I will change the color just a hair each time so that they will stand apart um, you know you don't have to make them stand out completely different but you do want them to show that they are separate parts. Now the body itself, those I'll leave a little closer. The head's the main piece that we want to be different. There we go. So that's given us our basic start to our animal body. So we've got his head and then his two body parts here. So um, something else that uh, I think bugs a lot of people is that there's no circle, like I said earlier. Um, and let me show you how you can beat that really quick. So just click off a of games icon right over here to Colin and grab you this circle here. So I know now this doesn't look like a flat circle, but if you just go to filters and brightness, pump that all the way up, suddenly we have ourselves a solid circle. And what's great about this is it actually works the same as any of our uh, our other pieces that we want to use. Uh, so the multiply effects and the blur effects that I've talked about all work the same. I'm going to leave this color the same as my body just to kind of do a base for my eyes real quick. Um, and go ahead and just make two of those and uh, pump up that brightness I don't know what I'm doing with blur over here and try to get these eyes roughly the same size there we go now I will come in and some something you can do with this that's also a pretty cool trick is if you take that brightness and crank it all the way down you have yourself a black circle so we are hacking the system and just so you know in between steps it'll always maintain uh, the sliders at the same level so if you're doing something with like a color it'll stay the same so that's actually pretty convenient uh, whether intended or not. Um, 
We're going to give him the little white circle in his eye. I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller. All right, so we are going to take one more circle. We're going to make this one uh, super bright like we did the first one. And we're going to kind of flatten it, oh, flatten it, I can't speak, and give it a little bit of an oval shape. Um, then we're we'll hit that on like a 45 degree angle and move that to the upper right corner of his eye here. It might be a little big. Now that looks pretty good. And uh, do the same thing to another. Keep it bright. Get ourselves kind of an oval. And then shrink it down. This will be the tricky part, getting these two the same size. Can take a little bit of time. Um, looks like, oh, looks like this one's a little, a little skinnier than the other one. There we go. That looks pretty good. I'm pleased with that. Um, now, so we've got our basic body shape. Um, we've got our face. Uh, if he could use a smile, we could go about that two ways. You know, we could just grab us a black pen and just draw it on there. Um, then there, there's a couple of shapes we could probably use to give him a smile as well. Um, if you don't have a steady hand like I, you can see mine are very squiggly when I try to draw lines. So we'll look for those um, just off the top of my head. One that kind of looks okay is the omega symbol. It's a Greek letter that kind of looks like a smile. There's a better one. I can never remember where it's at though, but let me see if I can find Omega real quick and show you that. So yeah, here's Omega. You can kind of see already that if you turn it upside down, you've got yourself a nice big smile going there. You might want to flatten it out a little bit. Um, you will notice that it takes on kind of a, uh, a pixelated appearance the more you distort it. Um, but you can normally clean that up with just a little bit of blur. Um, kind of give it that smoother edge. And of course we want our smile to be a much darker color like that. And so yeah, that's an easy smile you can do with the Omega. If I happen to see that other one while we're doing this, I'll be glad to show you that. Um, and now we need to give him some, some antennas of some sort. And uh, he needs six legs as well, so we'll probably, um, probably attach some down here and some to the main piece here despite how biologically inaccurate that may be. So the first thing I'm going to do is look for something to make antennas out of. Um, I actually don't know if there are antennas. We can go look in the A's and see what's happening in the A-N section. It doesn't look like there are. So, um, let's see. Any sort of shape will do. Actually, I think there is a uh, a private symbol. I think is what it says. We could actually, we could steal this bugs. Perhaps if we shrink him down a little bit. I think he will fit behind there. Let's see. Let's see if we can hack us a bug here and move that to the back. <laughs> Almost looks like he's got a little haircut. I don't really like this, so I'm gonna get rid of that. <laughs> And uh, go back to what I was saying, there is one in the P section, it's called. It's like a private's logo from like a military outfit. Or uniform, I should say. There we go. I think this looks a little more antenna-like. Let's see here. There we go. So we'll go to our filters. Um, probably want to make those red. There we go. And I'll just send that to the back and then grab him another antenna. Those are pretty close. Remember, it will maintain your color on that multiply, so you can just throw that on and move it to the back. Awesome. Um, trying to think of how we're going to do these legs. Let's see, I guess we could use the chevron again. Kind of flatten it out a little bit. That looks pretty good. Let's see how that'll look as a leg down here. Hmm. I think 
thing I like it as hands but not as legs so let's go ahead and give them two of these I'm gonna use the uh, the blur effect here as well to try and give it that outline like that so you turn it just a little bit up gives you a nice little outline there I'm gonna do that gives two sets of legs here saves our color do our little blur outline again there we go and we need to do the two for the other side all right multiply our color give ourselves a little outline and one more time for our last leg, or our last arm. I guess they're all legs for a for an ant, but and go ahead and hit that with our color and our blur for the outline again. So these are a little far. I'm going to kind of attach them like they are on the other side. Try to line them up a little better than that. There we go. Awesome. And now he needs to have some legs, but what I think I'm going to do is I'll just have him be in kind of in like a jumped up scary pose and just give him all six of his legs up here like this. That'll save us a little bit of time. There we go. And the last one. Awesome. So now we've got our ant. I'm actually going to move this top one down a little bit. It's bugging me. Um, now we've got our ant with his three legs looking. He's got a goofy smile going on. His eye is done. Um, we're going to do ourselves a background. If you watched my first video, you'll already know how I go about that. Um, I always start by giving myself a square for the background. Um, and for this ant, I'm thinking we'll do like a sandy color since they like to use sand in their, uh, their nest that they build. That looks pretty good to me. Sometimes you have to click it twice. All right, so we've got our sandy colored background. I'm thinking maybe a hill or a mound. Um, just like ants build would be a good focus for the immediate behind them. So we really just need any kind of like rounded triangular shape should work. Um, we actually can probably use this armor downgrade and just flip it. And, uh, well, that arrow is going to show a little bit behind it there. Um, but I'll show you a trick for how we can fill that in. So we'll put this kind of off to the side of them here. Go ahead and make this a darker version of our sandy color. See if we can get that. There we go. Um, there we go. I'll actually just move that to the back and then put the background behind it. So we'll take that square from the first page and we'll just make it the exact same color and then we can move it back as well the same way we've been doing everything else and of course we're gonna get this blurry arrow outline which is gonna make that difficult for us so we might have to nix that idea all right, well, let's see if we can find another shape that'll make a good anthill. We actually could maybe use that alien's face. It's a little pointy, though. Um, I'd rather have something a little more rounded and natural looking to be a mountain. Let's see. Or, I guess, not a mountain, but an anthill. Trying to make a mountain out of an anthill here. 
let's see. You know what? We can actually, we can go back to our, oh no, I've grabbed his head. We can go back to our, our famous big egg, if I can stop grabbing everything else. Um, and give him a bit of an anthill with that. I don't know. I don't know if that's pointy enough. We're going to roll with it. All right, so we'll take the filter, multiply, get our color there. Um, and I'm going to try and use the noise feature here. That tends to give it a sandy effect. So you can see how that's got kind of a sand look to it. So we'll move that to the back and uh, then move the actual background to the back. And then we've got a pretty good start, I think. So now we just need something to fill in that space. So we'll pick us a shape to blur up our sandy desert sky in the background. Um, as I said in the other video, there's all kinds of shapes that are good for that. Um, it really just depends on the effect that you're trying to get, and everything that you blur is going to look different. So, let's see here. Um, here we go. This cog explosion looks pretty cool. So I'm actually going to rotate it so that the cogs are going to be the most visible part here. I'm going to make those big. There we go. And I'm going to come over here. I'm going to pick kind of a more yellowish color. It's going to make it stand out a little different. Then we're going to up that blur amount to just crazy high. Maybe a little bit less than that, like right there. Move that to the back and then move that to the back. Now you can see we've got our sky dotted with some little bit of yellow coloring. Let's see how that looks. I think that looks pretty good. So that's the way that um, I make little bugs and animals. Uh, once again, if you guys have any questions, be sure to just hit me up in the Discord. I'd be glad to help you. As always, have a great day.